Hello and welcome to Virtuous Woman. And yes, we have another action-packed episode for you. And today is our Christmas episode and we are so excited about what's about to take place. I may say this nearly every week, but the truth of it is you will not be let down. Believe me, Virtuous Woman has got something amazing for you today and it's going to be about keeping the Christmas spirit and the truth of it, at this time of year, we know that the pressure's on as Virtuous Women, so please do not go away. We'll be right back. See you shortly. Join Maxine on Virtuous Woman every Monday at 12.30pm, Tuesday 7.30pm and Saturday 8.30pm here on Love World TV. Hello and welcome back to Virtuous Woman. And as I said, this episode is not to be missed. We're going to be discussing about keeping the Christmas spirit. As we know this time of year, the pressure is on, come on. And today we are doing this today with Jackie. Oh yeah. Who's absolutely awesome and a true virtuous woman. But we're going to hear a little bit more about her later on in the programme. You know, as usual, I like to always start the episode with a scripture about that virtuous woman. And I'm going to be reading in the King James Version from Proverbs 31 and verse 29. And, you know, it, it, it's so funny. Today's episode, I was trying to look at all of the scriptures just saying, you know, what relates to this keeping the Christmas spirit? But every single <laughs> scripture related <laughs> to what's taking place today, just showing our strength, mm. our character. Our... Anyway, and <laughs> Proverbs 31 and verse 29, King James Version, it reads, Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellent of them all. Now, the truth of it, Jackie, you have a women in the world that are doing an excellent mm. job and don't even know Christ. Yeah, so the truth of it, as a woman of God, the fact that we have the Holy Spirit, the fact that we have the mm. word, I mean, what can we achieve, Jackie? Well, nothing's beyond us. Nothing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the truth of it is, we know and you know that there's so many people out there doing mm. such a great work. But at the same time, they have no idea who their father is. Mm -hmm. And this time of year is about making sure that people know that the truth is that Christ was born and he was there to save us. Not necessarily born as we know on Christmas <laughs> Day, but at the same time, recognizing that the season is about him. Mm. Amen. Amen. But as I said earlier, today is about keeping the Christmas spirit and women, we know we're challenged at this time of year. Definitely. Um, I'm sure many others are, but we know we are challenged at this time of year. Now, you know, we have Jackie with us today who's more than qualified. I mean, she's a mother of two. She's a family support worker as well as has a great passion for God's work. And I love this when I asked her this question. She said to me, she likes to be God's hand and feet in the world. I mean, Jackie, when you said that to me, <laughs> I was like, wow, I'm going to take that one. Yeah, you Be can have it. <laughs> <laughs> because the truth of it is that's exactly who we are supposed to be. Yeah, absolutely. I believe that's what God's called us to be. We're his representatives. And if we can touch people's lives, then, you know, we're doing our job. Awesome, Jackie. Awesome. And, you know, as a, as a woman of God, um, you know, Firstly, I mean, what does Christmas mean to you, just as an individual, just without the, on the spiritual side? I mean, how, how yeah. what does Christmas mean to you? Christmas, for me, it's about the important things. Family, fun, friendship, and food. <laughs> You've got to have food. <laughs> <laughs> like absolutely, and it, eating. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and it's exactly that. And I think it's, it's, it's very similar for many. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, obviously, the true meaning of Christmas, as we know, it's about recognising that, that Christ was born in this season, yeah. recognising that he died for us, mm. recognising that, you know, he, he is everything yeah, and yeah. we need to just get to know him. And those that don't know him, this is the time to kind of reinforce. Yeah, absolutely. But there's so much to go through, so let's <laughs> kind of move on. I mean, you know, sometimes... At Christmas time, people never ever even know 
what Christmas is about. And there's mm -hmm. many people out there, you know, just doing this Christmas thing, going in the shop, buying presents, mm -hmm. giving out. I mean, you know, t tell us, Jackie, how much, how, ad how much advantage can we take of this time about getting people to know who Christ is? Well, it's a perfect time, isn't it? Because even people who, people who don't ever think about God, at this time of year, their minds will turn to him. And this is the time, I think, for us to be able to step in and just say, this is what Christmas means to me. It's the birth of Christ. It's the best gift in the world. It's love. And it's just a perfect time. People's hearts are open. Amen to that. And, and just the fact of it's the right time to get people to come to church, mm, absolutely. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and, and you find at this time, people often just go to church just yeah. for the one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, you know, please, you know, us women, let's take advantage of that. Yeah. And, and you know, and keep, keep, keep that going. Keep the door open. Keep people, you know, just hearing more yeah. and more. People love carols. So I invite people to the carol services yeah. because people love that. And it's just a wonderful way, A, to get them in the door. And B, just to remind them of what Christmas is really about. So I think it's perfect. This is the time of year to really go for it. Okay, so Leah, t take note of that, viewers. And at the same time as well, but I know that you used to be um, a street pastor mm. as well, Jackie, yeah. which you've done so much. You've, re you know, real blessed woman, to be <laughs> quite honest. It really does bless me just hearing some of your story. But at the same time, what's some tips that we can speak to our our colleagues, our yeah. friends, family, you know, just, just in our people in our sphere, just yeah. in order to kind of reel them in. I think the, f the key is to be non-judgmental. So yeah. to, you know, to bring Christ, but to bring him in love. Um, and it's not so much about I'm right and I know exactly what's going on. It's more about, you know, what, this is my experience of God and just to accept people where they're at. Amen. Amen. Join them where they are and then journey with them. Amen. And that's the key bit, though, isn't it? That journeying with them, because mm, sometimes mm. it's all right bringing them in. Yeah. But you've got to kind of yeah chaperone them, yeah, absolutely. you know, be a, be a disciple to them in yes. many ways. Yes. Um, and that's always the bit sometimes I think can be quite challenging. Yeah, it can be. Because you have to put yourself yeah. out. And it kind of puts us in a position where we have to really think about what we're doing, who we're being as well. It works Amen. both ways, I believe. Amen. I like that. Mm. So just be thinking about how they're seeing you in other yeah, ways. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you yeah. know, how you're representing him. I like that. And also as well, um, it's, a, it's a time when, you know, we, you know, we give gifts out, mm. as you know. It's, mm. a, it's a time of giving out gifts. Yeah. But there is no greater gift than the word of God. Absolutely. You know, giving somebody a present, whether it's a Bible, whether it's a, a rhapsody, whether it's a, 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 a CD, a teaching, something, mm. this, this is no better time than to plug that, that, that word in. I mean, Jackie, what's your thoughts in, in, you know, the word of God? Is the word of God a good gift? What would you say? I think it's the best gift. Absolutely Amen. the best gift because, you know, you don't have to charge it. There's no batteries <laughs> needed, um, you know, and it's always there and it's versatile. It fits every situation. So it's the best gift you could possibly give anyone, even if they don't necessarily seem quite ready for it. Give them time. They, you know, you dive in. You'll only ever get good stuff back. Absolutely. And sometimes even when you're giving somebody a book or a CD mm. and it might not be something they open up and use straight away. But God has a way of sometimes yeah, creating absolutely. the situation, doesn't it? Exactly. And it's not about us creating that situation. It's about giving people that opportunity and then God will create his own situations whereby they will then, you know, get to know him better. But if we don't give them the, that access, then where are they going to get it from? Absolutely. And once again, you know, we're, we're, we're pillars for Christ and we need to just remember all the time that, God, God, we're here, like you say, yes. we're his hands and feet. Yeah. You know, we're here to do God's work. That, that, that's, the, that's the role, isn't it? <laughs> Amen. And at the same time, enjoying life in mm. the word of, through the word of God. But, you know, I, and, you know, and also, you know, it's a time as well where we have to be so careful. And, and we're talking about these because these are just some challenges that everybody potentially goes through. Mm. I mean, then you've got like the the uh competitiveness of christmas <laughs> i like to talk about this because people whether you're aware or you're not aware sometimes it can be like the you know the decorations on people's mm, houses yeah. and things who's got the biggest christmas tree who's yeah. spending the most money i mean i don't know about you but i know down my road 
I've got one neighbour that's got, you know, Father Christmas going down the chimney, then another one's got loads of reindeer. And you're thinking, just yeah. like, okay. It's crazy sometimes, isn't it? You just look and you think, wow, what is going on there? But yeah, that competitive spirit, who's got the biggest pile of presents? Who's got the best present? Who spent the most money on my present this year? Um, yeah, that, that can really take over, I think, sometimes. And if yeah. you're not careful. Yeah, and just miss the mark of what we're really here for i mean and once again even with the like you say about the spending money on presents it's so important once again and, and we've all you know had the experience mm. um where somebody buys you a gift mm. <laughs> you <laughs> open the gift and you go ah <laughs> nice thank you. thank you you know <laughs> but the <laughs> truth of it is that uh, it, it's important that we recognize that we are actually being thought of regardless yeah. Yeah. Uh, and at the same time recognizing again that you know christmas isn't necessarily about you know about you and you you know what you get mm. and you know what you do you know just recognize that it's a celebration of a season yeah. about recognizing you know who christ is in our life and the fact that he was born he was born around the mm. season so mm. it, you know what i mean sometimes we can kind of miss the mark can't yeah. we yeah well, Christmas is about celebrating that gift that costs God everything, isn't it? I love it. Go but ahead, yeah. ultimately, it's it's not about can I give the biggest gift. And the greatest gift is your time, your attention, your love, because you can't put a price on that. And again, in that competitive spirit, it's so easy to forget that a small token given in love is going to be worth so much more than a hugely expensive token that is just given because I can afford it. Absolutely. And I want to impress you. Yeah. Absolutely. And also even the heart that you're actually giving gifts with. Mm. You know, people don't <laughs> you know, people don't recognise but you know, God sees our hearts mm -hmm. and it's so important that, that we remember that regardless if you're giving, like you say, the most expensive gift with a you know, with a, a hard heart or a bitter <laughs> yeah. heart or an unforgiving heart or whatever, it almost seems it's nothing it comes you might like well nothing. You might exactly you might as well keep you might it. as well yeah. Couldn't have put it better. And once again, um, you know, where we go on this spending extravaganza, <laughs> <laughs> where we just think like, let's spend, let's spend, let's spend, because you've got to remember that Christmas is like just one day, mm. that you're gearing all up to this one day. Yeah. And the pressure that, you know, that, that I don't know, I, w I don't even want to say that the world's necessarily put on us or whatever the case, but we'll come and talk about mm -hmm. that a bit later on in the programme. But the truth of it is, you've got to be wise. Yeah. Virtuous women, we're business women. And we know that, you know, as much as our, you know, our husbands may provide or we're bringing in, you know, we're providing, however it works, mm -hmm we're business women and we've got to also have the wisdom to even speak to our husbands mm. on how to, to help out in this scenario. How to manage that time. Yeah, absolutely. And to manage those pressures and to seek the support we need and to come together. Because exactly. that's what, you know, that's what it's really about. It's not about being superwoman. No, not it's at about all. Being a family woman. Exactly. <laughs> and on that note, you know, virtuous women do not go away because after, we're going to take a break now, but after the break, we are going to show you and talk to you um, once again, just talking about a few more of the challenges, but understanding about exactly what you or where you need to be and what you need to be doing as a virtuous woman in this season. So we will see you right after the break. So don't go away. We'll see you shortly. Thank you, Pastor. Okay. Join Maxine on Virtuous Woman every Monday at 12.30pm, Tuesday 7.30pm and Saturday 8.30pm here on Love World TV. Hello and welcome back to Virtuous Woman and as we said earlier, today's episode is about keeping the Christmas spirit you know, it's so important that this time of year that you need to keep your spirits up because although yeah. it's, it's um, you know, it's Christmas time and it's a happy time, we know that it can be a very, very challenging time. Mm -hmm. And we're doing this program today with Jackie, who's been absolutely awesome. She's been just seeding us with a few of these, these, these golden nuggets that are going to help us through these seasons. 
<laughs> but Jackie, as we were saying earlier, just about some of the challenges, mm. um, you know, with Christmas time, that we know it can be a time where there's quite a lot of pressure on the women. Mm. Um, I'm not saying that every single household is exactly the same, so no. I need to make that clear. But mm. we know that for the majority of the time for women, it's a pressurising time. What do you think? I agree, of course it is. Um, there's so much pressure to almost come up to a standard, isn't there? Oh. Biggest turkey, perfectly cooked, don't burn the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> you know, just so much is expected. And that idea of it being very a perfect Christmas, you know. Absolutely. The house being clean. Yeah. Um, Children perfectly behaved. Yeah. Well, if you have them. <laughs> yes, if you have them. But, you know, you're yeah. right. It's it's just, you, you're just wanting that, that, that perfect, idealistic mm. Christmas. But we'll talk a little bit more mm. about that as well. Now, we know that um, as a, you know, as a virtuous woman, we want to always truly, or should I say, as a virtuous woman, people automatically think that we have everything under control. You know, yeah. you go to church, you're walking with God, uh, you've got your Bible, you got your husband, you, you haven't got your husband, you're single, everything is going rosy. But the truth of it is it doesn't matter um, whether you, you, you know, you're, you're walking with the word and in everything's, you know, spiritually mm. okay. There's still challenges happening around you. Yeah, absolutely. And regardless whether you want to be, it affects. Yes. Now, tell me something, Jack, from, from you know, T tell us, I mean, be real about what's some of your challenges that you may be having like through this season or have done even? Um, I believe that I, I absolutely agree. People expect you to have it on lockdown. It's like, you know, everything's all our ducks in order and things like that. But I think the biggest challenge is spending time with people sometimes in a quite pressurised environment where you are trying to um, get everything done and people have their own needs. You've got your needs and everyone's just a little bit of a pressure cooker. I okay. think that can be... So that that's what you've sometimes experienced. Yeah, that kind of like, oh, I can't sure. wait for this day to be over. Sure. Exactly. <laughs> and, 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 and no, that's the truth. Yeah. And even sometimes myself, I feel exactly like mm -hmm. that, where you think, okay, you know, Christmas is coming, hopefully next week it will all be over and we can just kind of get back to, to, to normality. Yeah. Um, which I don't necessarily feel is the exact attitude to have, but at the same time, is it the wrong attitude to have? What do you think on that? Well, and I say this uh, a lot, um, we need to be careful not to confuse virtuous with perfect. And Amen. yes, we are perfect in God's eyes, but we are human and Amen. we have emotions and we have, uh, you know, experiences and they're going to affect the way we react to things. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, I suppose it's about remembering who we are in Christ. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about on some common ground of some of these challenges <laughs> that we have. Let's just, just quickly flick, flick, flick. Okay. Now, we, we, it was funny because when we were doing this, we were looking at the Fs, the four Fs, the yeah. four major Fs. And it was family, friends, finance and food. Yeah. Now, I mean, we got, we got, and, and then the last thing we said is the illusion of Christmas, but we'll, mm -hmm. we'll talk about that. But, mm. you know, even coming like what you say with the family. Yeah. You Just, know, yeah, remembering that go ahead. it's that whole idea that you've got, you know, that, that aunt or that cousin, that person who has that habit that you forget about over the year. You see them that one time of the year and that thing comes up and you're just like, oh, why exactly. did they do that? And it's about, you know, being gracious and being prepared. It, and it is preparation because you've got to understand that this is going to be coming up. You might be challenged with that scenario where, like you say, you see them once for the year. So the whole year, how much, what happens in one year? <laughs> you're a different person so in every day, never mind one year. So, yeah. you know, when you're coming amongst different spirits, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And different individuals. And yes, they are your family. You know, sometimes we can be challenged with them and of there's course. no doubt about it. But the truth of it is that we must remember the word of God to mm. walk in love at all yes, times. Yes, And to be thankful. Yeah. Even for that irritation, just to think, do you know what? They're still here to irritate me, which is a blessing. Do you know what I mean? Like, I hear what you're saying, yeah. Jackie, but I, and, and, and it's so true. Mm. But the truth of it also as well is that as women of God, we need to also deal with ourselves. Mm -hmm. Never mind trying Absolutely. to change people or trying to pray against Lord, make them not do this. <laughs> Take that make them not do down, that. Lord. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No, absolutely. Just know that Maxine, Jackie, I'm I'm in full control here because yeah. I have the spirit of God and yeah. I can do this. You know what I mean? Yeah.
Okay, friends, friends, give us some challenges about some friends. I think this, the, the pressures of friends is sometimes the demands that they want to make on you, especially if you have got other things that you need to be sorting out. And Christmas, like, like yeah. I know for me, there are a lot of people I try very hard to see at that time because I'm, I'm aware I haven't seen them. Sure. And sometimes sure. it's about friends remembering that actually I s tend to spend a lot more time with you than I do with these guys, so you need to exactly. allow me that time and, and, and un understand some of the things that I might be going through um, and being supportive. Absolutely. Yeah. And the thing with friends, it's funny because they can actually be a lot closer than even your family. You're seeing exactly. them sometimes a lot more frequently yeah. and they they know a lot more about you because yeah. you banter maybe about, yeah. you know, certain things and whatever, whatever. So it, it's a, like you say, it's about trying to find a balance and, mm. and people recognising that, you know, I have got a life as well mm. that doesn't necessarily involve you all the way. Yes. So, so exactly. yeah. Exactly. And being ba boundary, yeah. being very boundary, and I'm very big on asking for what you need from people. Lovely. I think that's what needs to happen. We need to be brave enough and know that we're loved enough to, s to be able to say, to look, say I it. need you to do this right now. Yep. And, and, and to know that people love us enough usually to say, all right then. Yeah. Might not be what I want, well, but exactly. I'll, I'll let you do so what you need So remember, Jackie's saying, virtuous woman, be clear on the things <laughs> yes. that you may yes. want. Be to your clear. people that you love, your friends, you know, yeah. be clear, be able to talk and, 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 yeah. and, but making sure that everything is done in love. Mm. It's so important. Mm. Otherwise, if it's not, <laughs> then, there, then there's a challenge. Fireworks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but the other thing as well is finance. Mm. Oh, come on, Jackie, I don't know if this has happened to you, but I know that it's happened to me in the past, yeah. genuinely, where you just, you know, through the pit, through the period, you don't even realise. It's just that it's a happy time. Mm. People want things, the kids. Yeah. Uh, you know, your husband, it might be something that you really want to bless him with or mm. bless her or him, blah, blah, and it just goes on. Um, and um, you realise at the end of it, um, in January, yes. you know, <laughs> you, you, you can't pay your phone bill, you yeah. can't pay yeah. just gen for general things. I yeah. mean, has that ever ha even happened to you? Yeah, in the past, absolutely. Mm. And there was a point when my older son was very young, well, I opted out because I realised I got to January and I looked around and I thought, wow, I've got so much that I need to catch up on. It's going to probably take me till next Christmas. And I, you know, God really stopped me and kind of said, you need to take stock. What is this really about? There you go. You know? It boils back round to the fact that knowing and understanding why you are actually doing this yeah, thing. Absolutely. Motivation. What's, what's your heart? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And also, um, you know, I mean, finance is a big one, as we know, and mm. we could probably talk about that all day. Mm, but the truth show. of it is, you know, being wise at this time of year, really, really key. Be wise mm. when it comes to your spending. Put a certain amount aside mm. and say, like, this is for this period mm. and know that tomorrow yeah. there's something there. You know, mm. it's just wisdom, really, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, it's about taking care of you and yours, isn't it? And as much as at Christmas you want everyone to be happy and you don't want to be happy at the expense of your well-being for the rest of the year, you know? And many of us have done it because you want to please I've been there. others. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's that giving the heart that yeah. we have. And sometimes you're just giving, giving, giving and realise that you've actually given to, you don't actually have anything for yourself. Mm. And it's not a nice place to be. No. I can assure you, because then you can go on the other side and start resenting. Mm. Exactly, <laughs> yes. So then you're in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> so be wise, be careful. Uh, and the other thing was food. Mm. We know at Christmas time, you know, there's lots of eating, drinking, and you know, just, 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 just a lot going on. Sometimes you've got people. I, me I remember when I uh, used to be single, I used to go around different houses to eat and make a bit of a pig of myself to be quite honest. <laughs> and then you feel, and then you're like trying to lose weight or something like, oh, God, I'm going to go. But anyway, that's another side of it. But it's also just acknowledging that this is not a time for gluttony mm, you know yeah. it's a it's like a sometimes it's like an excuse for people like to properly just pig out to isn't overeat it? yeah definitely um and you can see it when you go into the shops like it's just insane people are almost fighting over the last turkey and Come on. And, you, and like you said it's one day and quite often at the end of that day the amount of food that is just left, left over and you just think off. wow did you think that through Exactly. You know, and it, yeah, I think it's, it's about being wise. Like you said, it's about wisdom and just remembering what is this really about? Yes, you want to feed people and you want people to be happy. Of course. But everything in moderation. Love it. And it's the truth, Jackie. Yeah. It's so the truth. And 
Gluttony is a sin. Yeah. <laughs> Be aware. Come on now. If you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, and also the illusion of Christmas, because mm. we know you switch on your TV at home, for the kids and you know my kids are just like watching the tv i want that mommy i want that i want that and you're just thinking wow yeah you know yeah. it's there you know we want to have that perfect christmas yeah. we want to be spending the cookie cutter christmas it's perfect and nothing ever goes wrong and everyone's got more than enough and and it, it is an illusion and i think that that's sometimes where the competitiveness comes in because I look at your illusion and I think I want that illusion exactly. and I'm desperately trying to build this thing that isn't doesn't exist no because it's not real it and doesn't I think exist. all we can do is be you've got to be who you are you've got to be yourself and that's the truth of it you know and, and I love that Jackie because it's so important viewers that as women of God you understand what goes on in your home goes on in your home mm. you know and what goes on in your home is perfect and what goes on in your yeah, home is enough. beautiful and yeah. it's good and it's great and just just concentrate on 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 on, on your own sphere mm. and your own environment mm. and obviously at christmas time recognizing if there is somebody that you can even invite over yeah. help out yeah. feed you know this once again it's just you know doing doing because it's also can be a such a lonely and challenging time at Christmas yes it can be especially for the you know the elderly people mm -hmm. that have lost loved ones at this time of year yes and, feel, and it's a time as you said for thinking of family mm. that's forgotten for people the people that maybe don't cross your mind that often because you're so busy just doing life um, but absolutely the people you know people who just maybe want someone to reach out to them Absolutely, Jackie, yeah. and I love that. Yeah. I mean, before we, we let, let's, let's hear a quick scripture, please, Jackie. I mean, what would you leave our viewers with today, just in regards to, you know, this season? Um, well, I would leave the viewers with Luke 10, 38 to 41. Lovely. Um, where Jesus goes to visit Mary and Martha. And love it. Martha is so busy with the details. And in this sense, <laughs> it's the details of Christmas, you know, all the, you know, the yeah. trimmings and everything. And Mary has opted to sit at Jesus' feet and just draw from him. And I think what we need to remember is in the midst of all the busyness of all the gifts and the food yeah. and all these wonderful things, which are a total blessing, mm -hmm. that actually the greatest blessing is to sit at Jesus' feet. And I would encourage people to take that time, just build that time into your Lovely. day and take that five minutes and say, look, I'm taking a five minute time out. I need to go spend some time at the feet of Jesus. And then you can come back refreshed and ready to it's just be there for your already. family. In Jesus' name, I receive that for myself. You know, mm -hmm. Jackie, <laughs> we have come to the end of this, today's episode of Remember to Keep the Christmas Spirit Going. Jackie, yeah. you've been absolutely amazing. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you and for more, me. And once again, more importantly as well, that I need to thank every single, you know, individual that has come on Virtuous Woman to, to, to you know, help me with doing producing such amazing episodes i could not have done it without you and obviously god's grace mm. but we just want to say today thank you for joining us on virtuous woman and remember if you are a woman and you are watching this program you are a virtuous, virtuous woman. woman merry, merry christmas, christmas. <laughs> <laughs> see you again god bless